All right, Krishna, everyone, this is Ajuta Bhava from Nightlight Astrology, and it's Bhakti Wednesday today, so we are going to um, start a new series after finishing our series on the Sri Upadasham, Upadashamrita, the Nectar of Instruction, um, and this one is based on a prayer called the Sri Shikshastakam. So today and every week, I am going to um, chant this prayer, and then we are going to... Um, break down each of the verses week by week and understand what the Sanskrit means. And so I think it's actually in Bengali, but uh, we will be, um, at any rate, we will be reading the interpretation and offering some commentary. So before I do that, I want to tell you that, that what makes this prayer to me, this prayer changed my life. I'll, I'll, this Maybe more than any prayer. I've heard a lot of prayers in my life growing up a preacher's kid in the Christian church, and, um, and I like to pray. Frankly, I, I like it, not because uh, I like to pray, not so much to ask for things. I like to pray because it is a very deep, quieting form of communion with God, with source, with heart and soul, um, and it brings nothing but good things into my life. I'll tell you that. So um, this is an amazing prayer because this is God's prayer. <laughs> this is a prayer that was actually written by God, according to our bhakti yoga tradition, a prayer that was written by God, that God himself itself is praying. So this is, to me, this is what's so, this is why the prayer changed my life in a nutshell, because what does it mean that even God likes to pray? When I grew up, I always thought you pray to God, God doesn't sit around praying. Who would God pray to? But this is just the thing is that prayer in the bhakti yoga tradition is not seen merely as a form of petition. It is seen as an activity of communion and devotion. And so even God likes to compose prayers. Even God likes to pray those prayers. And even God has prayers on his heart. I want to give you a little background so this makes sense. Um, <clears throat> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was a 15th century Indian saint. I'm looking, I'm using the Wikipedia page here for just simple, basic access. If you want to look at the same thing that I'm just referencing. And he was considered to be a, an avatar of Krishna, but not just Krishna, an avatar of Krishna and Radha combined in one form. So a very unique avatar who is the one who essentially started what we now consider, uh, this is a 15th century saint, right? Who's uh, thought to be the avatar incarnation of Krishna, Krishna and Radha combined, who came and taught people kirtan, who took to the streets with drumming and singing, just like the Hare Krishnas in the 1960s and 70s, the Beatles, of course, George Harrison. Um, this is the this is, if you see kirtan and yoga studios, call and response, chanting, devotional worship of God, mantra meditation, glorifying the names of God as a form of yoga. This was uh, the avatar associated with it. He founded what is referred to as Gaudiya Vaishnavism. And uh, it's, a, it's a broad tradition, but he is considered by and people in and out of this tradition. He is uh, deeply revered as a great uh, Indian mystic and saint, regardless of whether different traditions consider him to be an avatar or not. So in our tradition, we think of him as an incarnation of God. Um, there are many incarnations of God, by the way, and the Shastras tell us that there are innumerable uh, names and forms and incarnations of God. So, uh, you know, it's not, um, it might sound a little culty when you first hear it. When I first heard it, it did. And then I was like, oh, no, it's actually like, you know, avatars are um, more common. It's not like when I was raised in Christianity, you know, it was just Jesus. But avatars are more common in the yogic tradition in general. All of that aside, I'm just trying to ease your mind, <laughs> ease your mind a little bit until you're like, oh my God. <laughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there's, there's a book called the um, Chaitanya Charitamrita, and it is a beautiful collection of biographical stories about the life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Um, my journey with bhakti yoga really began while on pilgrimage in Mayapur, which is right across uh, the river from Navadweep, which is where he was born. Um, or, or was it, was it Navadweep or was it actually in Mayapur? Either way, it's right there. It's his birthplace. And if there's any devotees out there, remind me if it was Navadweep or Mayapur where he was actually born. Um, at any rate, 
if I had to say which vibration really caught me, it was Lord Chaitanya's. Uh, Lord Chaitanya is on our, and um, his companion, Lord Nityananda, sort of like his sidekick, um, who's the embodiment of the guru, is uh, on our altar downstairs in our home. So even God likes to pray. And when Chaitanya was here, he's only said to have left really one thing that he wrote, and it was this prayer called the Sri Shikshastakam. So what we're going to do in this series is we're going to consider what it means that even God likes to pray by reflecting on this prayer that an incarnation of God was uh, wrote and um, left for us. This is a revered prayer in the bhakti tradition, so I hope you'll enjoy it. Now, my chanting is not very good, and I'm still learning it, so uh, especially devotees out there who might be listening to this, please forgive me if it's not very good. So here's the prayer, and I'll do my best to chant in the cadence that I've heard and liked, and... Uh, and uh, doing my best with the, um, the the language. So it goes like this. Cheto darpana marjanam, bhava mahadava agni nirvapanam, shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam, vidya vadu jivanam, anandam budivardanam, pratipadam purnam ritasvaranam, Sarvatma snapanam param vijayate, Sri Krishna sankirtanam, Nam nam akari bahuda, nija sarva shaktis, Tatrar pita niyamita, smarane nakalaha, Etadrasita vakripa, Bhagavan mamapi, Durdaivam idrisam, ihajani nanuragaha. Dinara pi sunichena, Tadora pi sahishnuna, Amanina manadena, Kirtania sada hari, Nadanam najanam na sundarim, Kapitam bajagadisha kamaye, Mama janmani janmani ishvare, Baba tad bhaktira hai tu kitvai, Ayinanda tanunja kinkaram, Patitam mam vishame bavam budau, kripaya tava para pankaja, shitaduli sadrisam vichintaya, nayanam gadara sudaraya, vadanam gagadarudaya gira, pulakair nichitam vapukada, tava namagrahane bavishati, Yugyayatam nimishena, chakshu shapravrishayatam, shunyayatam jagat sarvam, govinda virehe name, ashlishava pararatam pinashtumam, atarshanan marmahatam karotuva, yatatatava virahatu lampato, mat prananatas tu sa evana paraha. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Oh, so I love that prayer so much, even just singing it, however imperfectly I do it. Um, uh, you know, it just, it just, it just gets my heart, man. I just, I just love this prayer. So I'm sure that you are just dying to know what does it mean, right? What does the prayer mean translated? This is where, you know, it's like Hollywood suspense. We're going to break it down only one verse at a time so that we can really relish it. And we will re-sing it each, I'll re-sing it each week. And um, uh, and I'll leave a link in the comments section with the uh, link to the prayer if you'd like to try singing along. Although um, I hope I'm not leading you down the wrong path with how I'm pronouncing words or the cadence because it can be very specific and uh, you know I'm just doing my best. Um, but here's the first verse. Remember, let's just start by being like, this is, again, just take it really seriously, take it in. You know, even if you're like, I don't know what I think about, I've never just heard about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I don't know if he was God, just entertain for a minute. This is God writing a prayer and singing this prayer. What does God pray? I think that's mind-blowing to even consider. 
Let there be all victory for the chanting of the holy name of Lord Krishna, which can cleanse the mirror of the heart and stop the miseries of the blazing fire of material existence. That chanting is the waxing moon that spreads the white lotus of good fortune for all living entities. It is the life and soul of all education. The chanting of the holy name of Krishna expands the blissful ocean of transcendental life. It gives a cooling effect to everyone and enables one to taste full nectar at every step. Wow, just what a beautiful verse. I'm going to break it down a little bit one by one. Let there be all victory for the chanting of the holy name of Lord Krishna, which can cleanse the mirror of the heart and stop the miseries of the blazing fire of material existence. Much like Christ who glorifies his father, even though he is an incarnation of God in the Christian tradition, we have the same thing here where glorification of God is itself the most supremely enjoyable thing, even for God. <laughs> like, that's amazing. It's amazing that we're all a part of that as uh, aspects of God. That's just amazing. That chanting is the waxing moon that spreads the white lotus of good fortune for all living entities, the byproduct. In other words, as I read this, the byproduct of chanting God's names, just glorifying divinity, is that it, it, it spreads this like lunar, uh, like this, this good fortune, and it, it spreads just good vibes. <laughs> like, like, yes, please, thank you, and more if it's possible. It is the life and soul of all education. All knowledge comes from, from this putting the heart into this space, then all of a sudden, clarifying, clearing insights arrive, good fortune arrives as byproducts. The chanting of the holy name of Krishna expands the blissful ocean of transcendental life. Transcendental life can keep expanding always. It gives a cooling effect to everyone and enables one to taste full nectar at every step. So that's God praying. I mean, just sit, to me, it's like, I, there's not one day where if I were to pick up this prayer and read it, and most days I do, if it's, um, so if you're taking that verse in and considering this is God praying that, there's no, there's no, no, nothing, no one is excluded. <laughs> you know what I mean? No one is excluded from being moved in the same direction. God is itself something moving in the direction of the same thing that God is inviting us to move into the same current of. And that's just, wow, you know, that's what prayer really is. This, when I understood this prayer just even a tiny little bit and reflected on God praying it, um, it smashed my heart, you know, just in the best way. So uh, Mayapur Dam, the place that's associated is the place where we are also in the process of um, hopefully building a little retreat center to eventually lead groups to, because there's nothing that would make me happier than getting people to actually feel what um, uh, Lord Chaitanya's home pilgrimage place is like. It is, uh, it is, um, it's miraculous. That That's how it changed. It, it really touched me anyway. So that's what I've got for today. We will return for the next uh, installment um, next week. Hare Krishna, everyone.